back. Container 14 ready to win. Six to shack. Silver extraction completed. Well, I hate to break up the great Latino gourmet debate, but we ain't off the clock yet. So uh, since we got a few more days here, can somebody please tell me who the hook is? 15, is that you? You got a hook on box 22? The man is asking you if you're hooked on 22, you dumb shit. Watch your mouth, six pack. 15 to shack, this is Jones. I ain't the hook. Seven to shack, I'm the hook. Okay, there's seven. Let's hey, pack up box 22. Call it a day, honey. Hey, Willie, you trip on a tit or something? We're all waiting on you, honey. Go suck on a shrimp six pack. Okay, miners, let's come on home. You heard the man, let's get moving, folks. Come on, guys, we only have three days left. I hear that. Put the kettle on back, we're coming home. as you'd notice, but the sun is set on yet another day of hard labor and toil here at the homestead.
Breathe breathers. I don't trust anything that doesn't have bubbles coming out of it. It ain't the goddamn suit, man. It's back. It's not his fault. Doc should have been there. If he was a real shag boss, Doc would have been there. We got real lucky this time. Hey, Wall Street broke the 15,000 point barrier today. Shit, there goes my bonus. Uh, you know, I stood next to a guy who blew a suit once. We was in the Indian Ocean. Boy, I'm telling you, that is not a pretty sight. And leave Hazy alone, man. One tiny little hole in the fucking toe of his suit, man. No bigger than your dick. <laughs> yeah, boy, the ocean came in, the pressure just crammed his whole body up into his helmet. We just buried his helmet. That would have been you, DeJesus. Hey, I know about implosion, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet you do. I bet you was imploding in your pants. <laughs> hey, guys, cut it out, you guys. We've been stuck down in this hole for a hell of a long time, and we had a close call. We're not gonna let something like this break us apart. The dock is my responsibility. The dock is my responsibility. God, it would be just my luck to finish two months' worth of work two miles under and have the whole place fall apart with just three days left. Anyone check weather up top? Yeah, it's raining, but it's supposed to be clear for pickup. As long as there's no waves, I hate waves. Waves, waves my course. ass. You know what you would be doing if you were up top right now? Drinking brew and eating pussy. Oh, six-pack. How about getting stuck in traffic? Hey, wherever I can find it. Yeah, I'll tell you what you'd be doing. You're watching news on TV that's so bad it makes you nauseous so bad that you get in your car to get some fresh air and after five minutes you realize the air is so dirty you can't breathe yeah? if you're lucky enough to yeah, if you're lucky enough to get back to your house it looks the same as everybody else's you find that your wife is as fat as she ever was the only reason your kids aren't strung out in the drugs they were using is because they found some new drugs which screw them up even more and that's just the good part you people just don't appreciate how good you've got it down here don't let me interrupt you, Mr. Cobb. That's all right, sir. I was just finished. How are you feeling there, DeJesus? I'm OK. You see the doc yet? No. Well, you better let the doc take a look at you after dinner. Yeah, since he was busy earlier. When we needed him. Why don't you let me handle the doc, huh? Makes me feel better already. I was looking at the uh, shack maintenance hours outstanding. Uh -oh, I see where this is going. Well done. See, all of us owe some shack maintenance time. I thought tonight would be a good time to get it done. No way, Mr. Beck. No bleeping way. We just pulled a full shift. You can't call shack duty on top of full shift. That's a union violation. It's in the contract. Ooh, right on, Carl. Let's hear it for the shop steward. Woo! Hear that, Becky? The company's got to abide by the rules. Yeah, I know about the contract, Mr. Cobb, and the deal is you can follow the letter of the contract of the law, and you can spend an extra work day getting it done, and you can get it done tonight and call tomorrow a down day. What, are you giving us the day off? Looks that way. What about our quota? You're yeah, only 25 tons off quota. Bound to go way over that by the last day. I mean, look, folks, just a day off. Don't make no difference to me. It's just up to you. Thought it might be good. Well, hell, I could use a day off. Me too. Oh, what the hell? OK. Shop stewards three? Four. Four? Anybody else? Mm-hmm. Six. All right, here's what we got. Mr. Cobb, we still got that rattle in the air duct somewhere. Take a look at that. Right. Uh, Williams run a diagnostic on DeJesus' suit. Anybody else run any suit problems? Uh, yeah, my pocket. Yeah. Could you, uh, get my pocket for you? Oh. Ah, good evening. Name's Thompson, party one. Our reservation was 815. Not too near the orchestra, please. Uh, are you gonna come to work tomorrow, Doc? Well, I'll be on the golf course in the morning. And if I don't have any babies to deliver, I could stop by after lunch. We almost had an accident today. De Jesus' suit. You have something to say to me? Yeah. Section 1412 of the Trioceanic Manual requires a mining shack's medical officer to be present in the control room during all exterior operations. I just want to make real damn sure that's clear. I'll, um... I'll keep it to nine holes in the morning. 
Thank you, sir, for taking care of that situation. Listen to it, for Christ's sake. It's just getting old, that's all. You don't see Doc opening me up every time my joints start to creep. Yeah, but... As long as it's recycling the air, let it be. Come on. Ten to one, it's a short. Okay. I said, what a pair. Our shack boss and his washed up doctor buddy made quite a... What do you think I said? Would you like my boobs? Ah. Now, watch the old pop method. Eh? Compliments of Bowman. Nothing wrong with you. Well, it's like I tell you, Martin. I think you got an honest-to-God bonanza on your hands. I mean, you can haul us out of here in a couple of days. This mine will play itself. When I told the director of Atlantic Operations that we had to stick a geologist down there and turn that mine around, I had no idea that you were going to prove me a genius. Well, I'm glad you're happy, Martin. I'm ecstatic. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. What? I said, I really can't wait to get back to exploration diving. You know, I miss research and, uh... By the way, uh, I ran that check on Dr. Thompson. He has a few incidences of insubordination, but his credentials are very impressive. Pharmacology, he pioneered several vaccines. Yeah, well, this ain't the Mayo Clinic. How'd he get down here, Martin? A serum he developed killed several people. An accident. But it got blown all out of proportion. A look back... Things are beginning to move very fast now. If you're having a problem with him, we you need any help, just say the word. No. No, I don't think there's anything I can't handle. Good. How are your stocks doing? Haven't you made your million yet? Not yet. Oh, well, how's Trioceanic doing, though? Got money in this tub? Yeah. I signed up for the stock option. You know, last year when they lost a tanker, bottom fell out of their stock, and I lost a bloody fortune. You take your money too seriously.
Damn right I do. I'm not down here for fun. Fun? Somebody talking fun? Woo, look at those white legs. Hey, Willie, honey. I'm sorry about that little incident tonight. You know, I just thought a little humor might loosen things up. Hey, watch it, six pack. Our feelings? Nope. Sweet dreams. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I got a date with an angel. size of it, Bubba. All right, you and William just pulled sea duty tomorrow. Oh, oh bullshit! Oh, oh, geez! Will you pipe down? You just got half a day anymore hoopla. It's a full one. Ready to drill. Looks like a nice vein of ore. Let's blow it. All right, blow this.
That's Russian. Are you picking this up? Yeah, we got it. Seven, uh, can you open up that picture a little for us? Leviathan. What? Leviathan. Bowman, run a check. Sir? Leviathan. Williams, what's your air reading? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay, we're gonna give you five, then we're coming in. Jones, Cobb, suit up. I'm going inside. Six pack. of duty with Russian fleet in the Baltic Sea. What do you got there, Bowman? The Leviathan, currently with the Russian fleet in the Baltic Sea. Currently horseshit, currently it's rusted junk and we're looking at it. That's gotta be wrong. Maybe you didn't enter it correctly. It's right here, the Baltic Sea. Maybe a ship sinks and they don't notice it's missing. <laughs> okay, Williams, you got one minute to find six pack and get your butt out of there. If Willie's got a minute, how much time does six pack have? Safety, negligence. I never even heard a word. How can I be on report if I never even heard a word? Ain't that right, Cobby? Well, Cobby, me. You're on your own this time, six pack. You almost fucked up everybody's day. Look, Timex. And it's still ticking. I mean, Russian <laughs> money, it don't look like much. Here's something for you, Bo. Hey. Hey, six pack. Look at your girlfriends. Woo! Kitty does, yeah. Hey, 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 let me see that. Man, it's in Russian. I don't know what it says. May I see it, please? The doc, it's not really Kitty does, yeah. Uh, uh, it's the captain's lock on videotape. Don't tell me you read Russian. Yeah, Russian, German, Italian, Spanish, French, a little Swahili, and a smattering of Hindi. It's all part of my pre-med background. Bullshit. Would you believe a Russian grandmother? With that, I believe. Who is this? Personal effects, Doc. Can you read that? Deceased. Well, what's all this? Deceased. Deceased. Deceased, all of them. Huh. Okay, Mr. Cobb, wrap all that up. Thank you. Mr. Jesus, dump this last box. Okay. That's nice. What is this? Vodka. <laughs> Stress Nevia. Hey, that's good stuff. Make for a great end of shift party, huh? Hey, Becky, if I'm on report, I guess this bottle's mine, huh? Well, I guess you're right. It is yours, but it's uh, pilferage, so now you're down for two counts of safety negligence for risking William's life for going on that boat for possessing restricted material. 
Mr. Cobb, all us gets a pound of it. And uh, one more thing. I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. My infirmary's filled. The doctors on board tell me it's like a tropical infection. But it's not like anything I've ever seen before. There's something else I don't understand. And then it goes off. OK, so what do you want me to say, Doc? It all sounds mysterious. Yeah. Well, why did he leave his log tape? Why are the two ships with the same name, different places? Oh, hell, I don't know. You read Russian. Maybe you read it wrong. I didn't. Even if I had, there should be a record of some ship that's sunk within 100 miles of here, and there's not. Look at this tear, huh? This hole in the hull. That's a result of an explosion. I think that was a torpedo hit. I think that ship was sunk on purpose. Hey, Doc, now how the hell do you know that's a torpedo hit? I mean, a collision with another boat could produce that hole. I don't agree with you. This hole would not be so jagged. And so what? I mean, so what if they scuttle their own boat? I can't get bent out of shape just because some people got some jungle rock and ended up dead in a barge in the bottom of the ocean. I know about rocks. I know about stones, Doc. I don't know about Russian boats. Plus which, I bet you find out is it's a clerical error. Hell, we sounded the horn on it. Let the maritime people figure it out. I gotta fix a lift lock. <sighs> okay, two more days. Seven, no waves. Weather system online. Tracking meteorological patterns. Beginning scan. I hate waves. Hey, cop. Uh, you know that in Switzerland they speak four major languages? Four? Ask me if I care. I do. When I get out of here, I'm going there. I'm gonna find a nice snow-covered chalet, warm little woman, crackling fire, and ski. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, Kyle, you know, if you're gonna be doing that, man, you should be wearing what you wear to the beach. I hate the beach. Hey, guys. Look what I got. I don't believe it, boy. You got him. Yeah, put it there. What is it? What are you doing with Beck's personnel records? Watch, you'll see. Four, zero, five, four, eight, six. You guys are so full of shit. I mean, how stupid do you think he is? Who's gonna use their social security number? Bingo. That bottle's mine. Cute, hey, some specimen cups. Hey, listen that bull. <laughs> hey, Willie. Got one board for you? No, oh, not for me, thanks. All you do is exercise. Come on, you gotta live a little. My astronaut training starts in two days. Forget space, get it. I'll drink hers. What happens if he goes back and finds the bottle missing? He won't. Hmm? I put the vodka in here. <laughs> <laughs> Smart lad. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Water. Water. Hey, <laughs> Son of a gun doesn't trust us. That yeah. boy, little turd, I'm gonna fix his ass. It's our party. It's not bad. Huh. It's not bad at all. Hi. Did I tell you vodka's my favorite drink?
It's a pretty big one, huh? Yeah, you think we'd get used to it by now. Yeah. You're wasting your time here. This needs a shut down and an overhaul. Yeah, I need an overhaul. <laughs> How's the training going? It's going well. I think I've got a good shot. I just wish everyone would stop giving me a hard time. Yeah, I know what you mean. Why don't you give me a hand, hit that button, huh? Push DL. What? DL. DL. Doing down here, back. Oh, I'm trying to fix this short and lift lock. What are you doing down here, Williams? You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. You don't belong in a mine. You got that right. Somebody just got the brilliant idea to stick a geologist down here in charge of you cowboys. I think maybe they thought that just because I could tell shit from silver, I'd not run this place. Well, do you? You tell me. I think you handled the hazels pretty well. Yeah. Well, that was luck. I was scared to death. What about Six Pack? What about him? Did you bust him because of me? Maybe. Well, I appreciate that. But I'm okay. Yeah. I know. Good. Oh, by the way, how did you know they'd get into the vodka? Hell, that's what I would have done. You know, maybe you're more one of us than you think. Well, as first officer of the shack, it's your call. But if I were you, I'd not be too hasty. I don't, uh, I don't get it. Any evacuation 24 hours before a scheduled pickup won't look good on an otherwise excellent record. But like I said, it's your call. As bad as he is, there's no way we're gonna make that quarter without his sad self down there. Ah, he's tanking on us. No, I don't think so. I heard him last night. He didn't sound so good. The company will take that into consideration when they look at our numbers. We are. The company doesn't give a damn about why. Contract says if we miss our quarter, they only got to pay us half pay for the entire month. Believe me, they'll stick to it. The bastard's definitely tanking on us. Yep, I think you're right. Well, I wish you were, but he's not. He's really sick. He ain't coming out today. Williams, take her down. That's terrific. Three, three months of work down the You're out of here, guys. So, what are you, taking inventory? No, Mr. Jones, I'm getting ready to play ping pong. I'm going to work, Mr. Jones. You got a problem with that? Work. Work. Mm -hmm. 
try to hold a steady hand. Yeah. What the hell is that? I'm gonna take a little spin side way here. Just a second. Just Go. a second. Steady to try. Try to do it as quick as I can. I said I got it. Steady, steady, steady. Easy. Easy. It's all right. Keep your hands up. Here. Here. Hold that. I'm gonna take a look at this under the microscope. out there, Becky. I mean, uh, Mr. Beck. Beck. No, I'm done. Just don't call me Cracker. Perk up, sport. How could the guy die from a skin rash in eight hours? Put this on. I want you to examine him. I'm not a doctor. For this, you don't need to be. Genetic alteration from what? Yeah, it could be a million things. Something to the food, the air. That six pack went in that ship. And so did Williams. I want to examine the rest of the crew. But I don't want to create a panic. So until I get some answers, I don't think we should tell them that six pack is dead. Skin condition. Herpes, measles, what? What is it? A little difficult to describe. Christ, it'd be a hell of a thing if I went back up to the roof with the herpes thing. <laughs> My wife would never understand that at all. I don't think we have to worry about that, do we? I mean, she wouldn't understand that at all. Do you think I was down here screwing my head off or something? Put on your shirt. It's all right? Yeah, you're fine. Oh. You look so 
whole thing is unnecessary, Doc. The only skin problem I can see is the white people. <laughs> How come you wear those gloves? Thank Bill for that, is it? Anything wrong? No, I just wanted to see something here. Yeah, that's all. Do you think it has anything to do with going on that ship? Well, it's a possibility. But if that was the case, you'd be showing some symptoms, wouldn't you? I'm okay. You're fine. Harley, you're fine. Great. Thanks, Doc. What do you mean, a skin problem? Your skin changes? Yeah, it blackens it. Uh, it's steel. What, like a fish? Yeah, like a fish. I was just joking, Doc. You can finish getting dressed up. Oh, Bowman, I'm sorry. I'll be uh, right back. Generic alteration. Genetic. Whatever. But you think it's restricted to this one crew member? Hmm, so far, but... But what? What if it turns out to be nothing? What are you talking about? It's already killed one man. But you have no proof that this disease is contagious to you. And we've been wrong before, haven't we, Dr. Thompson? Uh, look, Martin, I think you're missing the point here. Now, my crew's in jeopardy, and I've seen this disease, and it's no day at the beach. So by way of paragraph 539 of the manual, I'm ordering you to start an emergency medical evacuation of all the personnel in the shack. It's your call, but unfortunately, we can't pick you up so soon. There's a hurricane 600 miles off the coast of Cuba, possibly coming your way. And if it does, the company does not want to risk losing you folks. What are you saying? Are you saying you're not going to pick us up at the scheduled time? It shouldn't be a long delay. Well, what's a long delay? A day, a week, what? 12 hours. We should know something first thing in the morning. I'll keep you posted. You better be there. 12 hours. 12 hours. I promise. Bo! Bo, are you okay? Oh my god. Come on. Can you help us here? Doc? Doc? Be all right, okay? I'm gonna go find Doc, all right? Hey, Doc, maybe he's with six pack. Okay. Doc. Doc. Hey, Doc, you in here? Six pack? Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, we made quarter today, man. No thanks to you, your dog, but we made it. You won't believe this, man, but Beck helped us out. Yeah, we just, uh, just brought Bowman in, man. She don't look too good. You know what you got? Ain't catching. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, look, I'm sorry, man. You're going back to sleep, okay? I'll talk to you later. All right. I'm gonna go check the control room. Okay. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Willie, please don't go. Please don't leave me. I'm so sick. Shh. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry.
hair is coming out. Bowman? Bowman, it's dark. Other than that, there's not much more that I can tell you about it. Except that none of you have any of the symptoms. And this disease, it killed Bo? No. No, she um, killed herself. What? Hey, we're getting out of here just in time. Yeah, well, that's a whole other problem. We're on hold for the pickup. There's a hurricane maybe rolling into this sector. A hurricane? Yeah, we're delayed 12 hours. 12 hours? What are we going to do? We can't stay on here. What was that? Wait a minute. Hold it. Just hold on. Just stay put. OK. Doc. Somebody's alive in here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, come on, let's flush it, Doc. What do you mean, flush it? The human come beings on. we're talking Wait, about. I said, I said everyone's oh, alive. Oh, the silence. How about let's do it, Doc? Oh, my God, they're alive. Come on. Get it up. Let's here. have a look. Oh! 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 Oh!
Someone's coming up now. That camera's gonna move into this room. Looks like some kind of a sick bay lab or something. Walter, come back. Yes, stop. Now move in. Huh? See? Looks like a human skull, but uh, I don't know. There's yeah. something about it. It's bigger. size of it. If you were tampering with genetics, why stop with the base model? Why not try to alter the human form? Homo aquaticus, a man who could live underwater. Think of the possibilities. Regeneration. The ability to withstand extreme cold, pressure. I mean, just think of it. Undersea mining, underwater farming. So what's next, Doc? I mean, what if we run out of airplanes one day? What are we gonna do? Just grow a whole bunch of bird people? Natura non confundenda est. Loosely translated. Don't fuck with Mother Nature. Have you ever thought that they may suspect already? Yeah, I thought about that, Doc, but I also like to think they got some kind of commitment to their people. You can save that speech for your ad campaign. This company's commitment is to the almighty dollar. If you think, based on what we've told them, that Trioceanic is going to risk exposing themselves to a potential market loss just to save us, you're in for an eye-opening experience. Maybe. Maybe so. And I know your life's gone a couple of bad rounds, Doc. And that doesn't necessarily mean this whole company's one big bummer. Why did they put it in the vodka? Because it was an experiment, man. I mean, they put the drug or, or whatever it was, I mean, in the vodka, they meant to trick them into taking it. That way, see, see, they, they didn't know what they were drinking. I mean, with us, they would have put it in, um, in, in the coffee. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, man. I mean, you know how mothers put the, the, the castor oil in with the orange juice to trick the baby into drinking it? That way, he don't know what the hell he's drinking? What is the kind of shit they was doing, man? <laughs> Fool. He could have got a saw cue. Yeah, you guys weren't so holy when you were shooting that vodka. It could have been anyone. Well, Miss High and Mighty, it doesn't seem to bother you none. Yeah, it bothers me. You deal with it your way, I'll deal with it mine. You know that in Stad they have 64 square miles of ski slopes? 64 square miles. Shh, shh, shh. How can you sit there going shh? After what we just went through. And another thing, man. I'm getting tired of hearing about your goddamn skiing, okay? You don't know shit about skiing, man. They don't ski in Spanish Harlem. What about what we just saw? Like Willie said, you deal with it your way, and I'll deal with it mine. Then anybody here care about what just happened? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Six Pack and Bo are dead. I can't help what happened, can you? I'm gonna go get something to eat. Anybody want anything? Eat? After what we just went through? Storm's still holding its course. What about that disease? Still just the one crew member? No change. Still just the one.
girl in jail. What are you doing? Uh, looking for butter for the popcorn. Look, um, Hazy, you gonna make me finish this puzzle by myself or what? I should. You know how long that took me? Hundreds, thousands, millions of hours. I'll be right there. Okay, hurry up. Six pack and Bowman. It's still here. What? I just got to Jesus.
blood? Apparently. That's just great. You're telling me we got a goddamn Dracula in here with us? That's why the one on that ship was dead and needed blood. Wait a minute. What one on that ship? Somebody won't let the rank and file in on your little secret? Whatever it is, it appears to be a genetic aberration. No shit. What are you trying to tell us, Doc? It has all the characteristics of deep sea marine life. Scales, gills. Regeneration, even a period of dormancy. But the fact that it remembered where that plasma was stored seems to imply that it has some, uh, some other quality. What? It absorbs the intelligence of its victim. Intelligence may not be the right word. Hey, the hell with semantics, Doc. What are you saying now? This thing is like part uh, De Jesus, part six pack, part Bowman, what? I don't know. I'd just be guessing. But I do know this. The Russians deliberately sank that ship to protect themselves. Maybe to protect us all. All right. Then I say we protect ourselves. Let's escape into those air bubbles. Get the hell out of here. And hit the surface in the middle of a hurricane? Man, that storm would rip those bubbles to pieces. They'd never find us. We wouldn't stand a snowball's chance in hell. So what are we going to do? Look, I think we got one shot. Just one shot. We lure it down into the swamp. We flush it out of here just like we did the other. And how are we going to do that? So we rendezvous in the mess in 30 minutes. Mr. Cobb, synchronize 30 minutes. Mark, got it? Got it. OK, so I run this by you again. If Jones and I aren't back here in 30 minutes in that mess, hurricane or nothing, you get those escape bubbles and haul ass. OK? OK. OK, let's do it. Be careful with this. Don't worry, I don't want to give up anymore. Take care. I'll do my best. OK, let's go. change that dressing, see if I can't make you more comfortable. Where are you going, Doc? The infirmary. Without protection? You shouldn't go out there. She's right, you know.
here. Here we go. Take off your shirt, cop. Sure. I'm cold. Help me. Please. Oh, yeah, sure. Sacrifice will mean that the human race will never know this awful mutation. Our death warrant. Signed by the good doctor. Oh, hell with it. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna find out just how far up Shit Creek we are. Thank goodness you're still alive. Well, where you been? Hey, man, you better get your ass out here right now and get us. You hear me right now? Please, Mr. Jones, calm down. We haven't deserted you. Naturally, after we received Dr. Thompson's message, we were concerned. But we never would have deserted you. When are you coming? You said 12 hours, remember? Well, that's the bad news. The hurricane has turned your way. Now, right now, it's on a course of... Just answer the goddamn question. When are you coming? Hopefully within the next 48 hours. 48 hours? I realize you must have gone through hell. Gone? Bitch, we still here! I can't control the weather. Now rest assured, your SOS was received by the Coast Guard and the Navy, and we will be responding at the earliest, safest opportunity. Just don't promise us nothing. I realize this must sound ridiculous after what you've been through. No shit. But please, try and get some rest. Now how in the hell are we gonna get some rest? I can't sleep. Can you sleep? Get some rest. Save your breath. Damn, man, 48 hours. Uh, no way. Well, we don't have much choice, do we? So I'll tell you what, I'll take a watch. You all try to get some rest. Hey, I ain't gonna never be able to sleep again in life, ever.
six. Data not available. Files closed. Oh man. They know, don't they? Yeah. I think it's just sitting up there deciding what to do with us. Maybe they already have. What are you looking for? I'm seeing how my investment's doing. The stock of Tri-Oceana Corp took a bath on world markets today when news of a tragic mining accident was revealed to investors. The board of directors was immediately called into a special meeting in New York this afternoon. A spokesperson revealed that the accident destroyed Shack 7 Atlantic Zone 10 off the coast of Florida. Eight miners are reported dead. All bodies are missing. Killed in the tragedy were Stephen Beck, Elizabeth Williams, Justin Jones, Dr. Glenn Thompson, Tony Rodero, Bridget Bowman, G.B. Cobb, Buzz Parrish. Martin, you bitch. Welcome to the union, boss. We're all expendable. Doc, I owe you five dollars. Five dollars? Emergency warning. Listen. Emergency warning. Countdown to implosion. The air stopped. Ten minutes and counting. Yeah, they ripped open an air duct. Can we fix it? You didn't have 20 miles of pipe in the bills. You could have tapped in anywhere. That's true. Cop. Job security. It's that rattle in the duct and cord over here, right? You got it. It's showing us where it is. It's drawing us out. We see time, did it? Nope. Can't go out there. That's what it wants. Yeah, well, we lose enough air in here, the internal pressure will drop and crunch. Implosion, babe. Well, wait a minute. You don't think I'm staying here? Nine minutes to implosion. The swamp. There's a backup air valve in the swamp. Okay. Now, if we... Doc. What? I just saw Doc. No, Jones. Let's get out of here. Come on.
get the suits! The suits, you crazy! Where they bring the lift bags? How are we gonna get to the surface? Like this. We'll triple the inflation ratio. We'll float to the top like a balloon. Go! Okay, let's hook them up. Get the suits. Well, what about yours? Just get the suit.
number 1437. Make one more attempt in search area and return to base. Jones? Jones! So where's the goddamn hurricane? <laughs> you all right? I made it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm all right, I'm all right. OK. back at Trioceanic, believe me, but I never gave up on you once. How do you feel? Better. A lot better. 